it's a gear tester here. Have you been looking for a shovel that can take a tremendous amount of abuse and you won't have to worry about it breaking? Have you been looking for a shovel that comes with a lifetime guarantee from the manufacturer? Then look no further than the Fishker's long handled digging shovel. Welcome to my review of the Fishker's forever shovel. That's what I call it. Fishker's prints right here on the blade of the shovel and says it's the world's best shovel. I actually have two of these shovels here. One of my favorite tools that I keep in my car is the Fishker's X7 hatchet. I've got a review up on this. I've owned a couple of these. They are excellent tools and this is the tool the Fishkers X7 hatchet that made me start paying attention to the other products which Fishkers is producing. This Fishkers uh, shovel here, the Fishkers long handed digging shovel, is uh, 58 inches long and it weighs in at 6 pounds. So it's a, it's a pretty good, uh, good shovel. It has a decent amount of weight to it. It has a lifetime warranty like I previously mentioned. The blade is 11.5 inches long and eight and a half inches wide. This is a great tool. Oh, one of the things that have really impressed me about this shovel is that both these shovels are not my personal shovels. I work for a landscaping and a snow maintenance company and these are their shovels. So during the summer we do a lot of landscaping. I've been working with them for about six months now. I've got one of the shovels which these shovels are replacing at the place where I work. This is a great shovel. It's got a very robust head. It's very durable. It's really reinforced. The shovel head is great, but it has a fiberglass handle. And these fiberglass handles, over time, when they're left out in the sun, again, uh, we're, you know, we've got a, a number of employees. Some of them are very careful with the tools. Others are not. Uh, we employ, the company that I work for employs a lot of individuals who are maybe their first summer job and so these things get run over they get crushed they get left out in the sun they're used to work in the sun a lot and over time these uh, fiberglass handles end up breaking in fact recently uh, this past summer three individuals were working with these shovels three young ladies who were working for this company and they actually broke three of these handles I'm not sure what they were doing but they broke these fiberglass handles and of course we've broken the wooden handles as well and these Fishkers uh, uh, long handle digging shovels you know because they use this welded on steel handle for the entire length of the shaft here, these things are super durable they're maybe a little bit heavier uh, it doesn't make sense for me to to give you the exact weight comparisons because I don't know what kind of shovels you're using in comparison to these. So I don't know, you know, whether these are going to be three ounces, four ounces, five ounces heavier than the shovels you're using. These shovels weigh in at six pounds the way they come from Fishkers or Fiskers, depending on how you want to pronounce the name. One of the things I like about these shovels is this this change right here from the way the handle goes in uh, to the to the shovel head there. I really like that. Another thing to notice is that this is not a circular piece of pipe here. It's actually what they call a D pipe, meaning uh, that it has a larger circumference here and then it kind of shrinks down and is actually quite ergonomic. Here's a diagram of that D-shaped handle uh, that the Fishkers uh, shovel has here. And you can see there what I'm talking about. This is the top of the handle, and this thinner area is what you hold in your hand. And I think that that's probably actually stronger than just a standard circular pipe as well. You also got to remember, when it comes to these shovels, they're not mine, and they've been being used uh, by this landscaping company, and they've taken more abuse. If you're thinking about purchasing this shovel for your personal use at your home, these shovels have taken many lifetimes in the last summer of use, that any, more than any one individual, man or woman, could ever uh, use them to the amount that they've been used, and they've held up. So I'm really impressed with these shovels. There's a couple things uh, that I also like about the way the shovel head is attached to the shaft, to this uh, steel shaft there. 
Uh, I really like the way it's welded in here. It's welded multiple points there, and then it's welded again right here. So it's, it's really well secured there. This is a very thick a shovel blade, and they continue the thickness up here. So you can really stomp down with your foot. You know, when you put your foot there, this goes into the ground. And I can jump on this thing, drive it in the ground, step back, and just lift up the dirt. Um, and it's just a great shovel for digging, for uh, doing all kinds of work, whether you're uh, planting plants or digging them up in the fall. Uh, I've, I've dug a tremendous amount with these shovels, and I've been really impressed with them. I'm an angry a little uh, uh, Irishman, an angry little Scotsman, and I can break basically anything, uh, but I have a hard time breaking these shovels. Now, uh, there are some things that I, I don't particularly like about these shovels or that maybe are some weaknesses. And, the, and, and that has to do with the strength of the handle. It's great, but this handle is strong because it is made out of metal, which means if you're working in a very cold condition like we are right now, there's snow on the ground, that you are gonna find that the handle is cold to your touch and you're probably gonna wanna wear gloves. I'm wearing gloves most of the time anyway, but if you don't like wearing work gloves, you're probably gonna wanna wear work gloves when you're using these in the cold. Also, they're painted black, and in the summer where it gets a lot of sunlight and you have these in the back of your truck and a lot of heat is directed into these handles from the sun, I didn't notice it to be a big problem. I wear gloves a lot though. And I, I also didn't notice that individuals who are working with me complain very much about it. So those are just some things. Heat is gonna be transferred through this handle. If you're digging around uh, electrical lines, this probably is not the shovel to be using. Of course, you should be being careful anyway, but this thing is all steel, so it's just gonna carry electric current straight up to you. But as long as you're being careful with those situations, I think you're gonna find that this Fishker's long-handed digging shovel is an excellent tool. You can see here at the end of the shovel, they uh, have this nice rubber uh, coating there, and that does a good job of uh, giving you a little bit more to grab onto and allowing you, if you uh, bump your face or uh, put your chest up against the handle, it, it kind of allows some padding there. You're not straight onto the metal of the shovel. Fishers uh, makes a number of different products and they make a number of different shovels. I was really surprised when I got online and started looking at all the shovels and different items they make. I really like the long handled digging shovel which Fishers makes. I think it may be the world's best shovel. For me, it is a, uh, a lifetime shovel. It's a forever shovel. It's a quality piece of gear and equipment. I would definitely recommend it to you. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more quality video reviews of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off.